All right, what's going on, everybody in YouTube land? It's your boy, House of Jazz. And I know it has been probably, what, almost a year since the last time I did a piano tutorial. And I must say that I am, like, definitely honored to have a lot of people giving, asking me where I've been and can I do this song, can I do that song. So I just want to say I really appreciate all of you and I just apologize. Life has just been super busy. But um, I don't have a lot of time this evening. Uh, but one of the many requests that I got was a song, a song called Share My World by Drew Hill. It was on their very first album. It was like before Five Steps. It was either one or two songs before Five Steps on the album. And um, it's really simple. It's only one, two, three, four. It's really just four different chords that you play. So I just want to show those chords real quick. And the chords can be used throughout the entire song. It's one of those songs where it's the same chords. So it goes like this. You're the one for me. The one that I adore So come share my world With me Hopefully that sounds familiar So let's go through those chords super quick Your first chord is going to be an E major 7 chord on your right hand You have E G sharp B as in boy and then you have D sharp on your right hand. And on your left hand, you just can play the E. So technically, what I'm doing, sometimes I use, I play it like that with four fingers on my right hand. Or sometimes I'll just play the G sharp, B, and D sharp only. And I double up the E's with the B and the bass on my left hand. It's up to you how you want to play it. Whatever is more comfortable for your fingers, obviously, right? So that's your first chord. You're the one for... And then you got to go to your next chord. For me. And I'm going to play that chord differently. I'm going to play it this way. Yeah, I'm going to play it this way. This is a D sharp 7 sharp 5 chord. Let me say that again. D sharp 7 sharp 5. For those of you who like, I have no idea, no clue what that is. Let me just spell it out for you. So on my right hand, I'm playing a G, a B as in boy, C sharp, and D sharp, right? And on my left hand, I'm simply playing D sharp octave, D sharp, same note, D sharp, just playing the octave, and I put an A sharp in the middle of that octave, okay? So your first chord again, um, E, uh, what's that, E major 7. You're the one for me. That's the second chord. Now your next chord is going to be a G sharp minor chord. It's the same, If maybe you might be more familiar if I said A flat minor. It's the exact same notes. The only reason why technically it's called G sharp minor is because of the key that we're in. We're in the key of E. So that third chord... Is basically on the right hand you have G sharp B as in boy D sharp and um, obviously you have G sharp on your left hand for the bass and you can add another D sharp if you want to make it a fuller sound and that's all it is so let's go back to first chord E major 7 you're the one for and then D sharp 7 sharp 5 me and then the one that's the g sharp minor seven the one that i adore now your next chord is an f sharp minor seven so on the right hand you got f sharp a c sharp e again f sharp a c sharp e on your left hand, you can just play the F sharp in the bass. Uh, you can add the D sharp to make it fuller, as opposed to just that. And then just put your sharps, uh, F sharp minor 7 on the right hand. So, let's review those chords again. You have the E chord. You're the one for D sharp 7 sharp 5. 
the one that I adore. And then you go back to that D sharp seven sharp five chord again, which which is the same way you played it. I showed it to you the last time. So come share my world. And you just keep playing that cycle of chords over and over again. Just watch. You're, I'll play it super slow for you. You're the one for me. The one that I adore. So come share my world with me. You're the only one, the one that I adore. So come share my world with me. Congratulations. Once you can do that, you can play the entire song. You can play those chords for the verse. I can't remember the words. I know it's... You're as lovely as a ray of sunshine. La da 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 you can go to the chorus. You're the one for me, the one that I adore. So come share my world with me. And if you go to that bridge, let go. So take my hand, follow me. If you notice, I am still playing the exact same chords I showed you. So, so that's a nice, simple song for, especially if you're just getting into playing the piano. Uh, a lot of your R&B pop songs are going to be simple. If you really want to learn some simple songs, I could show you some babyface songs. Uh, End of the Road is an uh, easy song to play. And even I make love to you. I mean, maybe I might look into doing those later, but. That's it. That's the that's that's the song. That's Share My World by Drew Hill. I'll play it one more time just for those who don't feel like clicking rewind. If you want to just click rewind, go ahead. But you have your E major 7. So that's, that's your first chord. Your second chord is that D sharp 7, sharp 5. There you go. I have to spell it out for you. And then you have the G sharp minor chord. Then F sharp minor 7. You go back to that D sharp 7, sharp 5, and then go back to your E, that E chord again. That's the whole pattern. You can sing, I promise you, the entire song, the bridge, the change, the vamps, everything with just those chords. Um, can't say when I'll actually get to the next piano tutorial. I know this one was pretty quick, but it really was just that simple. Um... This is you know, it's very time consuming and everything. So, but what I want to do before I um, end this video is just to um, just put it out there because some people, you know, how they say you have not because you ask not. You know, I do. I am a husband. I am a you know father. I have a family. You know, work and doing these videos takes time. And if there's any way that if if you felt blessed or you felt like you've learned something from me and you would like to just donate. To me, uh, I just want to say you don't have to. I'm going to still do the videos when I get a chance. But if you just felt led to just donate, feel free. My email address is House of Jazz with one Z. That's uh, H-O-U-S-E-O-F-J-A-Z. Just one Z, not two Zs. At yahoo.com if you go to PayPal and you just want to make a contribution, I would humbly accept it and thank you. If not, guess what? I'm still going to do the piano tutorials. Keep your um, requests coming and as I can get to them, if it's something that I know that I could do, hey, when I get the chance, I'm going to try to do some more before the year is out if I can. Okay, so God bless you. And if there's any questions, feel free to message me. And in the description, 
those chords that I just called out, I will have those chords typed out in the description. So you can go to the description and I'll have E major seven and D sharp, uh, D sharp seven, so all that good stuff. All right. All right. Till next time. Peace.